Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, everyone. This is uh, Suhail from Dubai. I'm starting my presentation here. So, my outline is for uh, establishing truck service, and I'm going to give an example for the journey that we did in Dubai. Uh, Dubai is a, a rich country between two brackets, but uh, as everyone knows, that uh, knowledge is not uh, depend on uh, money. So, when uh, we started our journey in 2011, 2012. There were no struck service, neither struck team, neither a struck center in the city of Dubai. And what you are going to see here later is uh, something that we were able to do within less than uh, four years. And we continue to build that also. So this is a very important message to our friend uh, in the Arab world in uh, Pakistan and other countries, 50 reasons not to change. Uh, it has been tried. I'm not sure my boss would like it. It's too expensive. There's someone else's responsibility is not, it's so political, we are doing okay, so why to change? And we can, believe me, Dr. Wasi, we can put another 50 reasons not to change what we are doing in practice in, in our town or a hospital. So this has been uh, mentioned by uh, multiple previous uh, speaker that uh, the projection of global cause of uh, death is increasing and we are going to have more stroke victim, especially in the third world and Middle East and uh, Indian uh, Pakistan region. And if we don't take a good action to decrease the number of victim and to treat the acute stroke patients and to facilitate their rehabilitation, we will have more victim and many patients and family will suffer. So as all of us knows that a stroke system, it's not an inventing a wheel. The stroke victim who's uh, appearing in the US, Canada, Dubai, or Pakistan and India is the same case. They will have an acute symptoms and then you need to transfer these patients to the nearest stroke unit and then to start the IV intervention or thrombectomy and to do the rehab. It's the same system. There's nothing different will be done uh, uh, other than uh, trying to manage the time and to bring the patients to the right place. Every delay by one minute, everyone knows it's around 1.9, losing myelin neuron per minute. So uh, I will encourage everyone to look to this paper. It's a little bit old, but it's speaking about building stroke system uh, in, uh, for acute. And it's starting with the primary prevention, secondary prevention, community, uh, education, notifying and response, EMS, acute stroke treatment, subacute stroke treatment and secondary prevention, rehabilitation, and to continue quality improvement. Many people are good in uh, number four and five, but we are missing, which is very important part, which is number seven and one and two. We believe that we are doing good, but if you don't do a good quality improvement and benchmark yourself to other centers, especially in the third world, uh, you will have a problem. And uh, public awareness is something very important with the primary prevention care that we need to deliver. Building a, a team uh, of uh, key players, it's very important. There's four main uh, key players for acute stroke, starting with pre-hospital, where the emergency care and transportation is an issue. In a country like Pakistan, it's a big issue to transfer a patients to, to, to a hospital or to the right hospital. So always Suhail will say that right patients to the right place in the right time. So that's very important. Uh, in Dubai, uh, we have only one, stro uh, one uh, EMS service and uh, it's, I can say, excellent service that they are providing the uh, city of Dubai. Acute uh, stroke care, which mainly the emergency department and uh, to build a good stroke team and program, you should have a good access to your emergency department, the radiology in the emergency, training your uh, triage nurses, triage doctor, uh, uh, having a bypass protocol to do acute stroke patients and the awareness. Uh, Hospitalist-based subacute inpatient care, in, including prevent stroke progression, prevent complications, manage comorbidity, and pro prevent 
secondary stroke, it's something very important. And the previous speaker spoke about the uh, stroke unit requirement, which is, believe me, 90, 95% is the same compared to the US, Canada, Dubai, India, and Pakistan. What you need is a dedicated geographic area where patients will be admitted under the same team, same nurses, and to have a protocol that patients can go through and you are done with almost 80% of the requirement for a stroke unit. So this can be done in a small town in Pakistan or in a large hospital in Pakistan. What you need is these few things. It, it can be two beds like what we had in Kenya that they start with the two beds, then they increase their stroke capacity. Uh, the four uh, key players is the post-discharge and outpatient care, including their rehabilitation and follow-up to prevent other stroke. Uh, there's a nice article came for a pre-hospital acute care of ischemic stroke in the Stroke Journal in 2021, where they speak about the pre-hospital triaging system, and there's a huge things that they went through it, which uh, something interest also to cover. The six Ds uh, or uh, eight Ds uh, of uh, stroke care, it's something important to understand that detection, which uh, carry a lot of public awareness uh, and EMS training about rapid recognition of the symptoms. Uh, a few days back was uh, the International Stroke Day and uh, many campaign at the level of the globe uh, has been started, which need to uh, increase WSO is doing great job, but there's a sister society in the region which they can do more activity. Uh, dispatch patients by early uh, activation and dispatch EMS to the nearest uh, stroke center. Uh, delivery of patients by rapid EMS identification, management, and transport. Door appropriate triage to stroke center which is uh, very important. Many patients, when we start our project in Dubai, were landed in a luxurious hospital, five star, but there's no stroke service, neither a stroke team. And uh, they will call Suhail after two days that we have this victim, please come and take care of the patients. And unfortunate patients arrive in the right time, but there's no service in that hospital. So appropriate triage to a stroke center is very important. And we were able in Dubai to bypass that also. Data, rapid triage, evaluation management without the ED. And as the uh, previous speaker spoke about the ANGEL program, it's a free program. And I will encourage all senior, junior who would like to start the stroke service to print the protocol and the presentation that RAPID is, um, uh, the ANGEL is uh, providing for free. And please start your uh, uh, stroke journey uh, of education, treating, and managing. Decision, stroke expert, and therapy selection. Uh, to build a stroke system, uh, you don't need always a stroke expert to be standing there. What do you mean, Suhail? Uh, a WhatsApp group is uh, uh, an example of uh, uh, running multiple stroke unit at the same time, whereas the expert is using the artificial intelligence by sending the images, uh, taking the decision uh, over phone and thrombolizing the patients by the ED doctor who trained to run a stroke code or by the resident in neurology or emergency medicine. And we are doing this with the three centers in Dubai Comprehensive and Primary Stroke Center. Drug, uh, spoken earlier regarding different type of uh, fibrillinetic therapy and uh, intra-arterial treatment. And disposition rapid admission to a stroke unit and start the critical care for these patients. A uh, very nice uh, diagram, encourage our junior to go through it. Uh, just came recent uh, on a stroke. We're speaking about different uh, timing and windows for the patients. You will notice that uh, the 60 minutes uh, golden hour has been shortened to 45 minutes. Other article, they are going to 30 minutes. In Dubai here, we are aiming always for 40 minutes, which we are able to achieve in more than 50% of our patients. 
AHG suggested time. Again, this is just what I mentioned about uh, doing a door to needle 45 minutes or 30 minutes and how you can manage that. Uh, and now they are starting the groin puncture also where you should do it within 90 minutes from the arrival. Uh, uh, it's nice to hear the experience from Canada and the US, but to start a stroke service, you don't need an interventionist to be there always. It's almost 15 to 20% of the patients who's coming with acute stroke will need uh, an acute uh, intraarterial intervention or a neuroradiologist, but you have almost 80 to 85 of the patients they will need only the thrombolytic agent. So uh, don't delay by waiting for an interventionist to be there. It's very important to have them with all the respect, but also you can do different by only having the right treatment and to, sh to shorten the time uh, of the acute intervention or door to needle. So this is a small uh, diagram that I thought uh, will have many people to uh, set up a stroke center where you will have the uh, four uh, important things that you need to include in all uh, stroke center, manpower, equipment, education, training, and infrastructure. And this another diagram has been designed by my team in Dubai for accreditation, if you are looking for that process, how you start with exploring your uh, hospital, your setup, then building and training protocol and clinical pathway guidelines. Then you need to do the validation with the KPIs, quality measures and pre-audit, including the registry, then to have the final certification process and final audit. So, uh, if I will go very quick with the setup for any stroke unit in the North America, Europe, Dubai, India, and Pakistan, you need to have the manpower. And the manpower training is the important things that you need to include in all your uh, stroke setup or a stroke uh, program. Neurologists or not a neurologist can employ e, uh, tele-stroke, and that's what we are doing here. And the previous speaker spoke about also that same thing in India. Neurointervention or just an interventionist can do the care who trained in that. And uh, um, I totally agree with Dr. Qureshi when he spoke of having a uh, training program. And we are trying to work on that in Middle East to start to have more strocologist or uh, thrombectologist who's just doing the thrombectomy, uh, which is very important uh, for our region at least. Infrastructure, stroke unit, and stroke ready hospital, very important to have, and to have a bypass uh, program within a busy city. Comprehensive stroke center, uh, it's must nowadays in large cities where a patient who required an intervention uh, mechanical uh, should be transferred to these patients. Rehabilitation center, uh, important. Uh, we are working at the level of uh, Dubai UAE to increase our rehabilitation center because there's a huge demand on, on these type of facility and uh, new ways to expand service with a given resources like uh, radiological tools that can be used. Uh, these are a few visits that uh, has been done by our team to Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Kenya, and Egypt to establish a stroke center in these countries. Medication and equipment, uh, Dr. Wasi and the uh, team from, uh, from uh, Pakistan, uh, Egypt, and Iran, as, uh, it's a large country with uh, almost 100 million population, which is less than Pakistan. But uh, in, uh, up to 2015, both country, uh, the, uh, the uh, TPA or Alta Place has not been reimbursed by the government. I'm so proud that these two countries, that the medication is almost 80% to 100% reimbursed by the government for acute stroke. Uh, so some, uh, something can be done in Pakistan and India if these uh, two countries able and the physician with the stroke society to uh, encourage the Minister of Health and the uh, decision maker to, 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 uh, and the companies who's making uh, these drugs 
to uh, subsidize or to get these drugs in a cheap uh, price. We were able to do this in Egypt. We were able to do this in Pakistan, in, uh, in Iran, and hope Pakistan will be soon. So uh, education and training, uh, it's the uh, most important part of any stroke center or a stroke team or a stroke setup program. Uh, you need to train the people, train education is more than important than having the medication or having a five-star uh, angio suite uh, or uh, a luxurious hostel. If you don't have a system, nothing will work. And I encourage all of you to log in to angelinitiative.com, free registration, and you can take the whole materials, which is for free there also. Uh, just to show you a, a, a short slides about our journey in Rashid Hospital. So when we started before 2013, there were no stroke team, no stroke unit, no stroke protocol, no stroke awareness within the hospital or in the public, no stroke prevention program, no uh, uh, stroke wasn't on the agenda of the hospital and no registry in the hospital. So there were no stroke despite we admit between 800 to 1,000 stroke victim to our hospital, which is the largest community hospital in Dubai. So after 2013, decision at the level of the administration of the hospital has been made to build a stroke team, to start a stroke unit, to uh, have a standardized stroke protocol, to start a stroke awareness in the hospital and the public, to have a stroke prevention program in the hospital, uh, to have our own hostel registry and international registry, uh, to have to build a stroke center and to get accreditation by the German Stroke Society, and to start the Dubai Stroke Umbrella Program, and to have to be part of the SITS registry. All this achievement has been done within a period of two to three years, and I'm so proud to have a very nice team using. Uh, a uh, different innovation to come uh, uh, through the obstacles and delay within the hostel to build a stroke unit. So the lady standing there is our head of quality, our head of emergency who's writing on the board, our rehab uh, head and our in charge uh, radiologist sitting there. So we define our weakness and strength. Then we went through our op opportunities and uh, uh, threats that can affect our uh, program. <clears throat> so currently we have 24 by seven acute stroke team, written protocol, uh, emergency medical services available, emergency department is 24. We have 12 stroke acute bed, multi uh, module monitoring of vitals and central monitoring bed. We have 24 uh, neuro intervention. We have three interventionists now and uh, we have other facility which is available 24 by seven. Currently we are uh, uh, receiving almost 1,200 stroke victim per year. We are uh, doing almost uh, uh, 180 to 200 uh, uh, TPA and thrombectomy or a diagnosis uh, 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 angio uh, intervention. And all this couldn't be achieved without having a good team who can uh, do good for our patients. Public awareness has been uh, dramatic and uh, we, we are receiving early patients than what we used to have in before 2013. Uh, the number of patients who's coming within the golden window has been increased and the EMS now knows where to take the patients directly to the stroke unit and uh, uh, to the intervention. And we are having a pre-notification system. All this has been done with minimal investment in money. It's mainly training the people, training, training and educating. Uh, th this is one of the things that we did uh, at our level where we did uh, 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 an uh, uh, checking or analyzing the steps that uh, a stroke victim journey will go through. And we noticed that there's 16 steps in the emergency that the patients need to go through, then five steps to get their uh, CT done and reported, and five steps before starting the IV uh, thrombolysis. The team with education was able to shorten this uh, journey from uh, 16 steps to five steps 
which uh, made our uh, uh, average time of thrombolysis is almost uh, uh, 40 minutes, uh, which is something nice that we were able to achieve also within a period of three years. Uh, time performance markers or KPIs, it's very important and you need to bunch, uh, benchmark yourself with other international center to know that you are doing good. So this is the journey that we did in Dubai. Just I will skip this because of the time. And we have been awarded in 2013 with the first certification by the German Stroke Society, 2014. And uh, so glad that we also awarded by the diamond status by the ANGEL program for the same uh, achievement. Uh, something new that we start in Dubai, it's called Join uh, Smart uh, System. It's uh, an application, very cheap one, similar to WhatsApp, but it's more secure that you can share the images of the patients, your intervention, emergency doctor, nurses, neurologists on call can chat together, send a voice message, use the, uh, the high quality resolution to look to the images, and you can trace the patients when the EMS is uh, uh, sending the, the patients to your hospital. So the activation of this system or, or software, uh, its app application start from the apartment or the uh, field where the patient had acute stroke and you can activate everyone at the same time when the EMS saw the patient. So your interventions, your neurologist, your ED doctor and triage nurse is aware about the patients before the EMS start to move the patients. This is our umbrella that we are trying to finalize, which co called Dubai, uh, Dubai Stroke Umbrella, to have at least uh, three uh, comprehensive stroke units in the city and at least six to seven primary stroke center in the city. <clears throat> uh, I'm so glad to, to share this the first time. It came just uh, yesterday that uh, the first comprehensive stroke unit uh, has been certified in Dubai. It's uh, uh, a private uh, hostel that I'm working with where they received the first certification by the AHA as a comprehensive stroke center outside the US. And soon we will get the same thing with my base hostel, Rashid Hospital, before the end of the year with the second certification as a comprehensive stroke unit. It's a, a, a nice journey to build a stroke center. If you are able to make the people to be around you and to help and support building a stroke system, you can save a lot of life. Uh, my end message is take home message, players win a games, team win a champions. So play as a team and you will be able to get the stroke service in your town, in your hospital, and at the level of your nation. At the end, I would like to remind all of you regarding Expo 2020 in Dubai, more than welcome to go to the desert and the beach or to uh, do a, a ski in uh, Dubai Mall. Uh, all of you are welcome to Dubai. Thank you.